what you want, when you want it, where you want it. This is The Mesh. This is a previously recorded episode of Making Living Better on WHKY Catawba County, North Carolina's radio source for first-person storytelling. Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro, 1290 AM, 102.3 FM, streaming live at WHKY.com. We're working with Catawba County on uh, Making Living Better, uh, their new branding effort. It's more than just uh, a saying, more than just a logo or positioning statement. Uh, it is kind of encompasses what uh, Catawba County is doing and has done, Making Living Better. We're meeting individuals from Catawba County. And this morning, I'm pleased to uh, have a chance to sit down and talk with Kelly Stewart. He is uh, from Newton. He is a married man, got uh, three children, and uh, a no- member of the North Carolina State Highway Patrol, a line sergeant, actually, for North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Uh, also is the owner of Runtime Races, which I think is very cool because I've seen them online. And it's a great-looking organization. We'll talk about that as well. But also, uh, United States Marine. And I learned a few years ago, sir, it's not like you were a Marine, that if you have ever been in active, you are a Marine. Yes, sir. And that's that's for, that's for life. So, some people say ex-Marine, but it's former. But, uh, oh, really? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, for what I understand, and, and, I, and by the way, thank you for your service yes, to our sir. country. Cer- uh, certainly do appreciate it. I always like to kind of go back and find out from the beginning. I just uh, It's easier for me sometimes to do it chronologically. So let's kind of start. Now, uh, You, I think we're you've, you've moved around some, but help me with this. You were born in Catawba County? Uh, no, actually, I was born in Iredale. Born in Iredale, um, okay. Right I, around the corner. Right. Raised, for the most part, in uh, Catawba County. Okay. Graduated Newton, uh, joined the Marine Corps in 1991, and transitioned after four years there to the Highway Patrol. Very good. Now, let's talk a little bit about your time in, in the Marines, because some, some things happened there. So, when uh, I, I guess, uh, fairly successful a- a- academically. I mean, you, you did okay in school and, and decided that, yeah, the Marines were going to be for you? Uh, to be very candid, I, I didn't like school a whole lot. No, no fault to my teachers. It's just it, what you know. It wasn't something I enjoyed. Sure. I, I was really ready to be done. Right. And uh, with that being said, I knew I wasn't ready for college. Right. Certainly, uh, at the time, I didn't have the money. Didn't want to waste someone else's money. <laughs> I so uh, I figured uh, if I were going to join the armed forces, I wanted to join what I perceived to be the hardest and most respected. I did, and and I found. Um, I share with people God used the uh, Marine Corps to kind of um, round off the rough edges, if you would, and give me some of the structure and things I was missing from growing up in a broken home. Gotcha. So then uh, you joined the Marine Corps. So I guess one of the things that all Marines have in common, Paris Island, is that right? Is Absolutely. That... Well, not, not all Marines. The real Marines went to Paris Island. <laughs> the the, the, uh, the, the uh, surfboard Marines, they, they went out uh, – in California. What, do you remember the name? I don't know the name of the one. I know there's a Camp Pendleton out there, but I don't remember the name of the one in California. But Well, my, my son-in-law is stationed at 29 Palms. I know that's not it. I, I think it is Camp Pendleton. Okay. And we, we give those. They're, they're, they're good guys. We give them a hard time. But sure. Par- Paris Island is, is the uh, birthplace there. That's, that's kind of well, well, the birthplace is in Pennsylvania, but Paris it, Island's the uh, is where you go. Depot. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so tell me about your career in the Marines. Uh, basically, um, graduated boot camp, got some training here in North Carolina, San Antonio, uh, went to Okinawa, Japan as military police. Military police. Yes. Um, kind of corresponded. I met my wife before I went in the Marine Corps, um, went to Japan halfway through my father was killed in a collision. Right. I come back stateside, reached back out to my wife. We'd kind of gone our separate ways right. and, um, basically, uh, Went back to uh, Japan, come home with a $1,300 phone bill. There weren't cell phones then because I spent all my off time talking to my wife. $1,300 yeah, phone. It, That's it, the biggest phone yeah. bill I've ever heard at, of, sir. at and it, it, it was bad, but um, it meaning the phone bill, not the conversation. Right. Um, so I finished up my time. Well, well, basically, when I got back to the States, uh, they sent me to Camp Lejeune, which I was happy, even though I was about five hours away. Uh, my wife and I were married in June of 93, and... Uh, if we make it to, uh, if we live the next month, it'll be 25 years. Congratulations on that. Thank you. you look incredibly young to be married 25 years. Do you hear that all the time? I, I, I do. And what I share with people is I, first and foremost, I give credit to God. But my wife has done a uh, tremendous job taking care of us. She, um, 
she always tries to prepare healthy meals. Now, granted, I like sweets and the bad stuff like everyone sure. else, but but at the same time, she does a good job. Uh, I, I joke and share that I couldn't get someone around here to marry me that I had to import my wife from Kentucky. <laughs> no, she, she's a nurse, right? She is with uh, Catawba Regional Hospice. And oh, she, what a great job. Wow. That's the, doing the Lord's work there. Absolutely. So that's fair. And you've got you've got the children. I, I do. Our oldest, uh, Jade, is married. Uh, actually, our first grandchild is due next month. You're a grandfather, man. And, uh, you do not look like a grandfather <laughs> at all. She, uh, well, they told us at Christmas her and her husband flew home. And, uh, and, and to show you the sense of humor God has, she was born on a Marine Corps base, and I never dreamed in a million years she'd marry a Marine. Well, they met in college. She got married to a Marine. Wow. And she's a second-year teacher in California. And, oh, that's um, just great. So, so she's our oldest. Uh, Jacob is our uh, middle. He's 16. He's a junior firefighter for Conover, and he feels nice. like God's calling him into the fire service. And then Sydney, she's 13, and she plays every sport known to man and, and women, and uh, she's just busy with that right now. So this, and so you are now a line, uh, help me with the, the, is a line sergeant, is that right, with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol? Yeah, yes. My um, position is one level above a trooper. I report to a first sergeant. When I'm at work, I help manage uh, the troopers in Catawba and Lincoln County. So now help me with the state troopers in, in, uh, in North Carolina, the Highway Patrol, is the enforcement area for the, for the highways, right? You have the SBI and the State Highway Patrol, the investigative arm, and then, of course, the, 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 the arm that has, does the enforcement on the highways and the roadways. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Tr- traditionally, we do focus on the things that occur on the highway, but we also work in conjunction with the SBI as well as uh, even on certain fatality investigations. So, okay. Sometimes, and certainly officer-involved shootings, things like that, the SBI becomes part of that investigation. You, you guys are uh, if, if just I, – I don't know how to quite put this, but you guys have got to be pretty pretty good at what you do and pretty tough because sometimes, if I'm not mistaken, you help me, you guys are out in, in a county, mm-hmm. way, way out without hardly any backup from any other municipalities or any of the other areas, so, and, and you're out there by yourself, and you're pulling over bad guys or you're pulling over people that you don't know, and sometimes your nearest backup – help me with this. Is this right half an hour away? Is, is that right? Uh Probably not half an hour. I mean, in in some scenarios, but to to I'm thinking um, about some of the western counties because you have know, talked to some of the guys up there. Oh yeah, across I, other parts, right? Yeah, Abs- absolutely. You guys are right out there by pretty much by yourself, so you got to be pretty good, pretty cautious, and, and and know what you're doing. Be well trained. Well, the uh, the Highway Patrol does a great job at training our members, and this year specifically, uh, we're focusing a lot on defensive tactics. What I've learned through my career, and I think the other troopers share this, or other members of our organization, a big part of it being successful is how you talk to people, sure. and, and and more importantly, um, cultivating those relationships. Be- before something does happen, that right. the community knows that we truly care about them, and it's not just a matter of handing out a ticket or delivering a death message, that we're truly vested in the community that we live. And let's talk a little bit about that community. Let's talk about Catawba County. You are a, a talented guy. You had some wonderful experience. I mean, I think of the old Jack Reacher line, yeah, we're like regular policemen, except for everybody we have to deal with as a trained killer. I mean, that's, <laughs> you know, I mean, you guys, uh, military police in the Marines, uh-huh. uh, had to be a pretty, uh, pretty tough job. So I'm thinking about, you know, you could have uh, settled just about anywhere that right. you wanted to. Right. Uh, why Catawba County? What was, it, what was it about Catawba County that you said, this is, this is where I want to be, this is, what I, this is the place I want to live? I, I think it was a combination of a couple things. One would be um, I had such a village of people that helped me growing up that kind of kept me on the right path. Whether they knew it or not, they were truly working in concert with one another. Right. Secondly, um, I— That's very interesting that you have people, you meet one person who maybe leads you one direction, another person offers this, mm-hmm. another person may have this piece of the puzzle— you bring all those folks together to help you become what you are today. That's a great way to look at it. A- absolutely, and I can think about some specific people. But the reason, you know, the Highway Patrol sent me to Burke County right out of patrol school. Okay. And the reason I wanted to come back to Catawba County was was fairly simple, other than just being from here, is in Burke County it seemed like, and in, in, in that's a great place, but Catawba County had so much more. Um, anything I needed, for the most part, was here. Um and it's just much more convenient. I don't like being somewhere where you have to drive 20 minutes to the grocery store. That's right. just me. Some people like that. Right. I want to be somewhere where if I need it, that I can get it or that service. And more importantly, that it's a place I enjoy to live, but we're not on the 6 o'clock news every night. 
Exactly. And my wife said she's not going to live anywhere where we have to put ice cream in the cooler to get it home. That's right. She wants to be like, let's get that <laughs> ice cream. Right. Get that ice cream hope. And that's the great thing about Catawba County because it is. We're, we're near everything. We'll talk a little bit more about that. And I want to hear more about Runtime Races, your business, because I've seen this online. Very impressive. And to be honest with you, I did not know this was right here in our own backyard. Right. I thought this was like uh, Colorado right. or, or someplace like that. So it's great to know. Runtime Races, more first talk right after this break. If you're looking for an awesome place to be, Catawba County is the place for you and me. We are close to Charlotte, but without all the stress and mess. We have awesome schools with amazing teachers. We learn using robots, Legos, and computers. We have many historic sites like Goldmine, Murray's Mill, and Lake Norman, too. The only thing that will make us better is you. Catawba County, making living better! This message brought to you by students at Cheryl's Ford Elementary School. Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. I, I got the greatest job in the world because I get to meet new people and, and get to find out about them. I always say we ought to air the breaks, all the stuff we talked about during the break. Kate, Kate fit it in. But our guest this morning is uh, Kelly Stewart. Uh, he resides in Newton. He's a line sergeant with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol and also a runner. And that's uh, one of the ways that uh, I want to talk about your business here, Runtime Races. Yes. And let's talk a little bit about that because I've been online before. I think it was the Krispy Kreme um, one Challenge, that, I, yes. uh, that uh-huh. I looked at last year. And yes. so many races in our area say go to Runtime Races uh, to register. And it's, it's a fine website, and, and you do a great job with races. And it's more than just registering. You actually have like a big – is this a consulting company or, or uh, uh, kind of soup to nuts. I mean, everything that you need for a race, runtime races will do. Is that right? Tell me about runtime races. It, it, but basically, it, it's, uh, it kind of, it's kind of three-prong. Is, uh, one, uh, we do uh, produce events for organizations, entities, help them raise funds. We produce our own events, and we do uh, consultation for existing races to talk about best practices and things like that. Now, you're a runner. Yes. You've done marathons. Yes. And, but you, you kind of started, of course, you ran a lot in the Marines. Yes. But then you, you started uh, running yourself and enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh-huh. Uh, when, when you, uh, was it, a, was it a, a 10K, 5K, what was it that you ran in first? And you like came in second, third in your age group or something. You said, I can do this. This is this is good. My uh, my wife encouraged me to get back into running probably because uh, the, the just the stress management portion. And she said, hey, there's a, I think it was 2011 Oktoberfest. And she said, why don't you sign up for this? I did place third, and I, from then I was hooked back into the the sanction running. So you did running, so you were there. You were actually at the start-finish line. You know what that felt like. So you were able to bring that in to run time races. So you're an entrepreneur right here in Catawba County. Yes. So uh, and you talked about people who helped you out. Tell me about some of the folks maybe either in Catawba County or some of the folks who helped with run time races. You talked about your wife and uh, obviously a big part of your life there. Absolutely. Uh, she's, she's, she uh, is my balance. She keeps me leveled out. And so uh, tell me about some of the other folks and about runtime races, because you said it's three-pronged. Uh, you work with the Krispy Kreme Challenge. And I guess, do you do races all over the nation? Well, uh, I wouldn't say nation, maybe southeast. Southeast. We, we, okay. we produce races um, in Florida, in um, Pennsylvania, and we have one scheduled in August in Suffolk, Virginia. Uh, but basically, August Suffolk, Virginia. Yes, Peanut Fest. Uh, no, it's the Lake Prince Woods. Okay, and we made that connection through Abernathy Laurels. Greg Rossa DeVito uh, brought us in to do a five k there at Abernathy Laurels in Newton. Right, and their sister company in Lake uh, okay. in Suffolk asked us to come up. They they like what they saw here, so they brought us up there to do one. This is becoming very successful for you. Um, God's blessed us through it. And to, to, to answer your first part of your question, um, uh, you know, I give a lot of, uh, obviously my wife and my family, I've had a lot of people give me, uh, good, uh, counsel. Um, in August of 2016, I joined the Rotary Club of Catawba Valley. And through that group of professional men and women, I was really able to get a lot of good business coaching. Right. And one of my friends, uh, who, uh, died this past October, Jack McCaskill, he was. Uh, That's a well-known name throughout the area. Yeah, he he had a uh, a big part. Uh, let's talk a little bit, if we could, um, about when we when you're doing a race like this. One of the greatest parts of the race that that I found uh, the race business, if you will. Is that you give a portion back? Is that that's part of the deal? Is you either pick the charity or they pick the charity, and that's part of runtime races. Is is that when you're working with runtime races, 
you're going to have a, a donation of charity. Right. It's very interesting because a lot of people don't know I'm a polygraph examiner for the Highway Patrol trained in interview and interrogation. So when I sit across across the table from people and I share with them our business model and I say, you know, we're a for-profit company, but every race we do, we give back to a charity. A lot of them, if they don't know my heart and my passion, they kind of turn their head sideways and they look at me like, yeah, right. But then right. I'm able to demonstrate right. through, a, through a list. And, and we're starting to – people in the community are starting to get to know us now. So it's not a, a – I wouldn't say a hard sell, but naturally most for-profit companies – aren't structured like we are right and i think that do you think that uh, a part of the reason that runtime races has become a popular and successful is is not what it, there's a profit part of it yeah i mean the non-profit part of it yeah but do you think it's just because you all just do a darn fine job for these folks that uh, one person runs a, a 5k and that's a fundraiser and they say you got to call runtime races because man these people can can do it all for you or, or they can maybe you've got this portion that you need help with y'all can basically tailor runtime races to just about whatever a race needs right Right. We found success in <clears throat> organization, okay. quality products such as shirts and medals through our vendors, right. and just basically doing what you say you're going to do. Something as simple as starting the race on time right. and starting the award ceremony on time right. is critical um, in getting people to return over and over because they have other things they want to do on Saturday morning besides wait an hour for results to be posted. Right. So you can come in and you can help people with that. You can make it efficient. You can make it quick. And and obviously the popularity is growing. Uh, it it seems to. God's blessed it. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, you attend here in the area? You attend because you've talked a lot about the Lord this morning? Yes. Um, I, and your I, children attend I, uh, at, a, at, a, at a local uh, in Catawba County, that's right? Yes. Um, I, I share with people that I'm a Christian that just happens to go to a Baptist church. I'm a member at Tri-City Baptist, All right. and um, they're, they are a big part of our life. And, I, I know and, they are, and that's why I wanted yeah, to ask that. Yeah. And your children attend that school, is that correct? Yes. So now you've got some years in with the Highway Patrol. Uh, I've yes, sir. I, I, I've got about a little less than three to go before retirement. A little bit. Uh, so, are you thinking maybe any ideas for a future career? You're gonna you're gonna hang around the area. I mean, you like Catawba County, right? So this is, you know, making is that one of the maybe the plans is is hang around the area. Well, my wife and I have discussed this, and, and basically a lot of it's going to depend on you know my daughter lives in California right now, or other two. My youngest daughter will be 16 by the time I retire. So so a lot of things depend. A lot of things. Well, we hope you'll stay around because yes, we sir. sure are glad to have you here in Catawba County. We've been talking this morning with the uh, Newton resident, Kelly Stewart. He is the owner of Runtime Races. He's also a sergeant with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. I want to thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you thank for your you. service to our country. Yes, thank sir. you for your service to our state. And uh, thank you for all that you do right here in Catawba County. We could have spent an hour together this morning. We barely scratched the service. Yeah. Thanks for listening. To find more first-person stories from Catawba County, visit makinglivingbetter.com or tune in to TheMesh.TV each month for a new podcast. You've been listening to The Mesh, an online media network of shows and programs ranging from business to arts, sports to entertainment, music to community. All programs are available on the website as well as through iTunes and YouTube. Check us out online at themesh.tv. Discover other network shows and give us feedback on what you just heard.